The only reason why I bought this salt is to wash my jello fry spot. I'm just running my mouth. So just, mm. ugh. I feel like MTV Sugar is one of those shows that I'm going to make my kids watch when they're teenagers so that they can just have an idea of, you know, stuff that our parents felt, stuff that our parents felt uncomfortable talking about to us. It's rid of the cold, but it just knocks you out completely. I don't know what they put in this. I mean, it, they were going to give it to me for free, but it didn't sit well with me for me to take something that I don't necessarily, something that I don't use. Hello and welcome to my messy kitchen. How are you guys doing? I am going to be tidying up my kitchen today and I thought I would do like a clean and chat because I'm not going to lie to you. I've been struggling a bit with um, YouTube as in like trying to create, um, I don't know. I've been struggling a little bit with YouTube in the, in the sense of just trying to create, I don't know, I've just been struggling a little bit. Today I thought I would do like a clean with me chat with me let's talk because i clean this kitchen which will probably only stay clean for maybe which will probably only stay clean until the kids get back from school and then it's you know you know it's funny how you know that when you're young and you're still living at your parents house you're always like oh i can't wait till i move out because then i don't have to do this i don't have to do it. trust me when you have kids <laughs> When you have kids, all the jobs that you hate, that you despised when you were living at home, you will end up doing it times 10. So, yeah. <laughs> My little mini rant there. The kitchen is a mess. I don't know how it got this messy because I just cleaned it yesterday. But, yeah, it's, it's a mess. Um, I just got back from dropping the kids um, to school. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I haven't taken a shower yet. But I really wanted to clean this kitchen and then have a shower because, you know, I just don't want to have a shower and then clean. I just wanted to get this done and then get myself ready. So yeah, that's my little secret. This probably won't make sense, but because you know the channel is about me and obviously my life, I really struggle with talking about myself as in like, you know, to constantly have to switch on the camera and talk about myself. By the way, I'm not complaining. I'm just struggling a little bit. So if you guys have any video suggestion, anything you'd like me to do that maybe I haven't done before, or maybe if you would, because last time I asked, um, I, I would actually really like to, last time I asked for you guys to comment because I wanted to do my first Q&A, but I didn't get enough questions. So I'll ask again if you guys would like me to do a Q&A, please, you know, leave your comments down below. I'll highly appreciate it. And if I get enough, then I'll be able to do like a sit down Q&A because last time I was only, I only got a few questions. So I just answered it in the comment section. But yeah, let's clean. I have got my, we've run out of, we've run out of recycling bags. So I've, I'm going to put the recycling stuff in here and then take it downstairs pour it in the recycling bin and then bring this back oh i just hit the camera but i've just been oh, i don't know how you guys been hope you guys are you know have been good but my i have been struggling a little bit to say the least i have been struggling this place got this messy I really really don't know I don't know the worst part about making jollof rice is washing the pot afterwards I'm telling you I normally leave it in some salt and then that normally helps get rid of this so just put some salt in there and leave it until tomorrow morning and then I'll wash it just leave it in there Whew! the smoke of that salt just went in my mouth so just, mm. uh, just gonna leave that in there for until the next day. I'm really proud of myself. I have finally organized my seasoning place. So this place used to be so jam-packed, but I've managed to organize so all my seasoning is finally in this box. I'm so proud of myself. I did this last week, I think it was, and it's the best thing I ever did. But yeah, so it's just easy. I know where everything is. And then the season, as in like the season that I use for the guys, everything is just here. And what's this? Okay, pepper soup. Pepper soup mix. 
in here as well. Oh, I think I want to do some lip peppers. Mm. Anyway, this is how I, this is how I get ideas of what food I want to make. I like the smell of this thing. That's the only reason why I buy it, and I only buy it when it's on sale. So when I, because normally it's like three pounds because it's like non-toxic, but it was currently it was I think it was one pound or one pound fifty in. They sell it everywhere, Sainsbury's, Tesco, apart from Audi and Lidl. Um, so yeah, I saw that it was on sale, so I just had to pick it up. But I'm just going to quickly go and wash this. Before I go, let me use this spray. Oh, I love the smell of this thing. It smells so good. washing plates that's one thing I can say I enjoy doing I like to wash plates I don't mind doing that but I am currently obsessed with I, was, I thought I would tell you guys as, I'm, as I was washing the plates I was watching um, MTV Sugar I've watched all the episodes before but I like to re-watch it and there's a really really good one called um, it's like MTV Sugar but 16 and pregnant so like basically following around 16 year olds um, they basically follow it's like it's basically like a documentary of 16 year olds that are pregnant in South Africa like real life you know what they had to do yeah. and stuff like that I love stuff like that but um yeah in regards to YouTube oh let me clean and talk clean and talk clean and talk that's the whole point right oh that's the whole point of this right so I, whoa. you okay I bought this sugar for waxing purposes so I only use it for waxing or if I'm going to bake for the kids then i use it i'm very careful because with sugar you you have to be very careful how you keep sugar because if you don't keep it right you end up having tiny ants which i don't want so i don't want it but you see this um hole i'm just going to place this up here for now Mommy, yeah can i finish no no don't touch don't touch mommy's cleaning don't touch I'm going to make it for you. This is the rest of the wax that I, you know, I waxed myself yesterday. So, no, yesterday, was it yesterday or the day before? I waxed a couple of days ago and this is what was left. So I need to soak this in hot water so I can clean it. That will stay there until I'm ready. I don't know why I'm obsessed. I'm just gonna put my, let me put my plantains on the floor. I definitely have to eat plantain today, or else it's gonna go super, super soft. Um, I don't know why. Oh, this is from the bike. I don't know why, but I am obsessed with MTV Sugar. I love that program. It's so. I feel like it's very important. I feel like MTV. I feel like MTV Sugar is one of those shows that I'm going to make my kids watch when they're teenagers. So that they can just have an idea of you know stuff that our parents felt stuff that our parents felt uncomfortable talking about to us i think mtv sugar will be a great i don't know can open doors for those kind of discussions that's what i'm hoping so i hope it's still there by the time they're like teenagers because so i would definitely be using it as reference um to those kind of things like i'm wondering did you any of your parents ever give you guys the sex talk when you were growing up because you know you guys know nigerian people they don't talk about stuff like that you don't you do not in nigeria you don't nigeria no, let me not say let me not let me not generalize but most some should i say my, well my parents never they just said if you have if you have sex you're going to get pregnant that's all i ever got was if you have sex you're going to get pregnant and also i think my uncle one time told me that um you know when it comes to having sex with the opposite sex like you don't be there'll be a tight no i think the only 
my, my uncle once told me that my uncle said to me in regards to like the sex talk my uncle, my parents said you know just don't do it until you're ready basically and that if you do it you're gonna get pregnant basically and then my uncle said you know there's plenty of time to do that in the future right now focus on your books <laughs> That's the only, and I remember those times, I was actually in college, that's the only sex talk we ever got, really. I never really got spoke, I don't think, they, they didn't talk to me about like, you know, STDs and stuff like that. And then the other sex talk was done in school, and that was it really, and then the rest you just, you figure it out for yourself as you go along. When it comes to sex, I'm a bit of a, what's that word? I feel like, I still feel like I'm a bit childish towards it, you know? I don't know. It's a weird one, but um, you see these toasters, yeah? This toaster needs to be shaken. I feel like I need to shake this thing in the bin. <music> nearly finished, nearly wet. We're, we're on the home stretch. That, that's what you say when you nearly finish something, right? Yeah cupboard is nice and empty there was a lot of um, vitamins in there that had gone off vitamins and medicines that had gone off so what a waste um, you see this little madam of mine she loves to write on these things she loves to write on the on the cupboards she loves it You give them paper but that you know with kids you give them paper to write on but their best place is where they're not supposed to be writing on oh do you know what i haven't been vlogging but i will i'll probably start vlogging i i think i'm gonna vlog tomorrow i'm not sure but i need to basically little madam has started gymnastics oh my god she loves it absolutely loves gymnastics i wanted to quickly talk about sponsorship and um, like as a small youtuber do you you know do i get approached by anyone to you know i don't know help them promote something on my channel or anything like that in my whole time of doing youtube i think i've only ever been emailed twice um yeah it's been two times yeah i i, I do get messages on instagram about somebody saying you know check out my page where this fit like these fitness i don't know if it's spam or whatever but in regards to youtube the first company was like a caffeine company sorry my <coughs> i <feel coughs> yeah the first company was a caffeine company it was like this it was this caffeine thing that you're supposed to put in water and it's supposed to like give you instant energy and I thought to myself, I guess these people, oh, this company haven't really watched my channel because if they have, they would know that I don't, you know, I don't take anything. Like I, I say, I don't drink coffee. I'm not a caffeine person. So it just didn't sit well with me, even though they were giving it, they were going to give it to me for free, but it didn't sit well with me for me to take something that I don't necessarily, something I don't use. It just didn't make sense. And then another company was a sports bra company. And they wanted to send me some sports bra um, to wear. And what did it say? The message wasn't very clear, but it was about wearing a sports bra. And they were going to give it to me for free, obviously. And they were going to give it for free. And then I could also choose. Uh, I could also choose to give. I could also choose to give the sports bra to somebody else or something like that. They just basically wanted to say. They basically wanted me to say good things about their sports bra. The thing with me is I'm very, I don't know, I feel like, you see, for me personally, life is not a race and I have to keep reminding myself that every day, life is not a race, like, you know, I know one day, for me, something will click and I don't want to rush to do something just to make myself look like I'm, I don't know, like I'm important or, I don't know, I don't know how to put it because, I, and also one more thing, like numbers, like having a lot of subscribers does not equate to money for some people it doesn't i never forget a couple of years ago and uh, me and sean actually went to an event i'm just gonna keep it i'm trying to make this as blah i don't want to 
me and Shoma went to an event. I'm going to keep it as, I don't want to go into too much details about the event, but me and Shoma went to an event and the event that was being held was, the, the event was held by somebody with a large following. And when we got to the event, there was only three or four people there and it was put out on social media that this event was happening and stuff like that. From that day on, I knew that it doesn't matter how many followers you have. Like basically, followers does not equate to money or like, you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, I, I, I learned from that day that you shouldn't, um, I don't know, attach a following to your self-worth kind of thing. Because somebody that you think has a large following is probably, you know, doing well for themselves. It turns out that maybe they're not. And, you know, I don't know. I guess it all depends on how you monetize your following. I don't know. I don't know. And I feel like I haven't found, I don't I know. I know for myself one day something will click. I will never rush. I will never rush to do something for the sake of looking important or for the sake of i don't know i don't know i'm very like i, I am a what's it called you know the the the, 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 the is it toy toys toy toys you know the turtles and the hair i am the turtles i'm very, everything in my life has always happened to me at a very slow pace like nothing ever happens to me like you know everything i've ever everything in my life has always happened to me at a very so slow place I've never, nothing has ever been handed to me and I continue. I just know that one day something will click. And also one more thing, I was watching, um, I was watching this program, it's called um, Super Skinny, no, Super Skinny versus Super Big. It's, it's a program that was on TV many, many years ago, but it just came on my recommended on YouTube and I thought, let me watch it. And the woman there, um, the woman was the super size she, she was the bigger person and the guy was the really slim person and basically the program is like they swap they basically live each other's life for a day in in regards to like the way they eat so the big person will eat what the small person eats and the small person will eat what the big person eats and one thing that the lady the lady was the big person one thing that she said that really resonated with me was she was like the reason why she probably eats a lot is out of boredom and like she basically became a mum and you know her husband will go out to work and she was just at home with the baby and all she would do was just eat as a sense of comfort because she felt lonely that you know she didn't have really have anyone to talk to because you know as a mom it's a lonely business being a mom is a lonely business and i can testify to this like i spend most of my day with little madam and that's it so we do activities together like, i don't have adult conversations outside of maybe talking to shoma or talking to my mom or maybe talking to my dad and um, talking to my fella um, talking to my chocolate milk but I don't have outside conversations like that as in like maybe once in a blue moon so I could relate to what the lady was saying saying that you know motherhood is saying that she feels lonely so because she feels lonely she won't realize when she's had like four packets of bread or like you know two packets of biscuits she's just eating and eating and eating because you know she's trying to fill that void of loneliness and I was thinking about it I was like I'm probably I, I could fix my loneliness probably by maybe trying to you know socialize more but the thing is i realize that i'm probably a very very i'm an introvert that complains about wanting to meet new people have more friends i probably wouldn't do good having more friends because i like to be in my house but then i like to be in my house and you see me and, and i have days where i'm complaining like oh i don't have any friends like you know for example when i take little madam to like all these like um you know arts and crafts gymnastics and a lot of people that come, they come with their friends, so like their mummy friends. So while the kids are playing, you know, the mums will sit there, they'll have a chat about how the week has been, you know, what they're going through, you know? And I don't have that. And then is that my fault? Probably. But yeah, I've gone off on a rant. But anyway, the cleaning is done. I'm finished. Everything is completely cleaned to a bit of my satisfaction. I think I'm going to probably do a deep clean on the weekend. I just wanted to do like a quick surface clean because me and little madam will be heading out um, to get a few things. Thank you very much for cleaning with me today and see you guys in my next video. Bye bye!